Baku is full of this kind of you know natural miracles. So let's explore Yanardag. Yanardag, the burning mountain. It is basically a natural gas fire which blazes continuously and it never extinguishes. This mesmerizing sight is characterized by its eternal flame which is believed to have been burning for thousands of years. As one of the few fire temple mountains worldwide, Yanadag holds immense spiritual and cultural significance for the people of Azerbaijan. Good! Oh, great! Finally! Oh, feeling so good! Natural fireplace. How is it possible? It's such a natural wonder. Fire never extinguished, be it rain, be it snow, be it whatever. It's a natural fireplace for us. Vian has opened his gloves because we don't need gloves anymore. So good. Our next and final destination for day two is Atashga, the temple of fire. So from Yanardag, we have now come to the Temple of Fire. See Zian, can you recognize Zian? See, this is Zian. <laughs> it's very cold and windy. Literally, we are freezing, but we are having too much fun. Seriously. <laughs> We're having too much fun because the weather is superb. In Hiwi, we don't get to see uh, this kind of weather. So feeling great because of the weather. So I will now show you the temple. Come with us. Even I'm not able to talk much because as I said, I'm freezing. So we all are going together because we have taken a combo ticket. It is 30 manat combined price for Yanadag and Temple of Fire. Based on Iranian and Indian inscriptions, the temple was used as a Hindu, Sikh and Zoroastrian place of worship. What they are doing? <laughs> Everybody is so happy. <laughs> Atish is the Persian word for fire. The pentagonal complex which has a courtyard surrounded by cells for monks and a tetrapillar altar in the middle was built during the 17th and 18th centuries. Coming slow silk route as you know from China to India, from Iran, Spahan, up to Baku, Shamakhe and Baku. And they were staying in this way in the Oh my god! Uh, and this is symbolic of the burning. Uh, the uh, my first God. fire, how can I say, put out. Why? I can show you original gas channel. Because, uh, I look here, people turn it. Careful. Here. Okay. Mm -hmm. No, the, the, she showed the natural gas chambers. Uh -huh. so there are different rooms also. We'll go and explore. Let's check what are there in the different rooms. I'll show you. So here are the doors. You can see there are different rooms. So go and explore the rooms also. This place was a pilgrimage and philosophical center of Zoroastrian from northwestern Indian subcontinent who were involved in trade with the Caspian Sea area via the famous Grand Trunk Road. The four holy elements of their belief were Ateshi, that is fire, Badi, that is air, Abhi, water, and Heki, that is earth. In the Middle Ages, there were significant Indian communities throughout Central Asia. Much of the woodwork for ships on the Caspian was also done by the Indian craftsmen. So I will show you something very much mesmerizing. We are in Azerbaijan, which is a separate country and it's a Muslim country. But there is something very special. So here's our Ganesh Ji. Om It's unbelievable to see a Ganpati here. And now I will show you something more amazing which will give you that sense of spiritualism from within. Please come. I'm going to 
show you something even more spectacular. Keep watching. Seeing a Nataraj here literally gave me goosebumps. That's all from Temple of Fire and that's all from day 2 at Baku. So if you don't find any souvenir anywhere, you can come and buy your souvenirs from here. There are a number of souvenir shops from here also you can collect it. So now I will end the video for day 2. Stay tuned. See what we are doing in day 3. Bye.